Mm. Betty Dotson. <laughs> Yes, Carl and Ross. Sex historian. <laughs> You've had some of the most varied sexual experiences. Um, women, that's easy to corner that, but of people, I think, that have ever walked the planet. And when you read your autobiography, Sex by Design, what I love is how you moved through each lifestyle choice to see if it resonated with you and to challenge yourself. I was supposed to be a sexologist. And I figured you should know about sex. So what would you do? You would go try them all. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? So I thought it begged the question, what were some of your best orgasms? Very good question. Um, well, they were all wonderful. There's no doubt about it. No bad orgasms? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but it's like, as it, no. It's, you know, the romantic love crap that we go for. In your 20s, in your teens, and, and you're you, like, don't oh, know better. And... In the beginning of your sex life when you were madly, romantically in love with some guy. Or gal. Or gal, whatever. Um, that, that first, those first few times of making love are just, because it's primarily fantasy. You're the angry. seduction. <laughs> yeah, the seduction phase is hot. I mean, those were all great. But I gotta tell you, just the other night, <laughs> I'm in my- Not just the other night, she's come off like a two week marathon. I was calling up, I'm like, where is she? Oh, it was spring, it was, I what, whatever it was, I was so horny. I kept getting back into my bed, getting out my equipment and beating <laughs> off with abandon. And I thought, what is this, I'm running. Then I said, well, it's spring. And um, I finally mellowed out. Well, that's good. <laughs> I thought you were gonna chafe something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or blow out your electric sockets. <laughs> like one of the Burn other. out my vibrators. Well, I have dozens of them, so. Anyway, I just, I just was doing a lot of masturbating and fantasizing and imagining and visualizing and creating. Right? Really? I mean, that's yeah. what we're talking about. Absolutely. It's building up your creative energy and loving every minute of it. And I'm not bothering anyone and there's no one here to bother me. And it's just- There's I no have, performance anxiety, right? No, nothing. I have the ideal situation. Now, because I have, Lena and my housekeeper and the boys, the superintendents, they walk in all the time. So I have a, I have a system of closing that door out there that symbolizes I'm either in session or I'm not available. Because I had to Because I'm something. jerking off. Yeah. <laughs> in, in Wildly. Session. So are you saying that some of your best orgasms have been with yourself? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. No doubt about it. The other ones were a lot of mental stuff, you know, like being first time in love and and having or the first the, affair. Yeah, all of the, <laughs> all of the above. But here I was last week, just having at it and loving every minute of it. And I'm so healthy. At ninety, I can't. Big I know this August ninety. No, it's only 89. No, it's 90 this year. Oh, you're right. It's 89 and the next year's 90. Well, we round up. <laughs> Almost she's, 90. She's, she's always got me a couple of years <laughs> older than I am. Well, because my whole thing is like 90, I'm going to really mark that one. So I'm gearing up. You're getting ready. I'm getting ready. But it's interesting that you were having this kind of hedonistic spring you know, <laughs> and I was spending the week masturbating like crazy for healing and going within and it was part celebratory, but it was that whole um, cancer scare I had. So I had a mole removed and I had to have it done right here twice to rule out melanoma. And when it comes back as atypical, they tell you it might be melanoma. We're not sure we have to cut it again. And then you have to wait another week for the biopsy. So I wasn't masturbating during that process, but after, it came back benign and it was okay. It was just going inward to just tell myself like, I love you. Like that self love and the grounding and feeling gratitude. Yep. And all of that. So, you know, when we want healing 
when we're aroused because it's the rites of spring, all these moments in our lives. There are a lot of them. We are. We're very healthy. Because we're happy. And I think, you know, we're kind of trained in our culture to look outward for happiness and pleasure and peace and contentment. And it's really simple. You just go inward. And, you know, when I first got the news that it might be cancer, I felt like completely disappointed in my relationships. Like, I just felt like, wow, I don't feel like things are the way I want them to be. And then I realized I can do this. Like, it's really about me. It's not about anyone else. It's not about you. <laughs> right? And that strength is really internal. And by the time I was walking in to get my stitches out and my results, I had such gratitude and New York looked so beautiful and it was just like, yeah, I can do this. We're all enough. We don't need anything or anyone else. Not really. It's a good feeling to be um, satisfied. You always say self-full. 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 I'm full of myself. But not in an arrogant, ego kind of way. It's just happy. Feeling good about being who you are and what you're doing. And in your body. And in your body and mm -hmm. having your orgasms. And there's so much freedom in that. And it's, you have so much more to share with yes. everyone else when yeah. it's not coming from a place of shame or insecurity, you know. <laughs> so here I am racing towards 90 and having these incredible, incredible orgasms with myself thoroughly entertained I it'll go on I mean I'm willing to let it go on forever I, mean, I, I like how you always say the longest love affair you have is the one you have with yourself oh uh, hey I've been around a long time I can always count on me I can always count on me so don't forget your self-love it's gonna be your mainstay the mainstay yeah go steady with yourself and have your other lovers.